back in October of 2021, I was part of a group of gun riders who was invited to the Texas Gun Experience, which is a, a really great facility. They've got great uh, ranges there. They've got a great store. You got machine gun rentals, all kind of cool stuff. If y'all are in that area or get to that area, you really need to check them out. But this was an event sponsored by Blue August, which is a media rep company. They have a bunch of different companies that they uh, do media work for. And one of them was Diamondback Firearms. We've known the folks at Diamondback for a long time. We've been down to their place and uh, we checked out their facility down there, which was state of the art at the time. And uh, I understand it's even gotten bigger and better. They, they've continued to expand their line. They've had some really cool looking 1911 pistols down there. Uh, they make some great ARs and all that kind of stuff. And they gave us a sneak peek at their sidekick, which is a double action revolver built on a single action style. And it, uh, it's a nine shot 22 with this extra cylinder and 22 Magnum. It's double action or single action. It's a really neat little revolver. I've uh, had one of these for a couple of months now and I'll be getting a review out on it shortly. But they had those down there for a preview. They're just a great company that makes some great stuff. They're really nice folks. Everything's made in America right down there in Florida. They're just a really good outfit. Hope y'all enjoy this. Hey, how y'all doing? Cody from Dimeback Firearms. Here we're out here in Texas and we're shooting. Uh, we got gun blasts out here. Man, always a good time with this guy. But we got the range back here. We got our new Sidekick Revolver 22, 22 mag, comes with both cylinders. We got a 1911 out there and our DBX. You can go back and see all the videos from Shot Show, all that. You can go see that. Um, we got a couple AR. We got a 308 out there, and it's just been a fun time shooting. If you want to know more about Dimeback Firearms, go to dimebackfirearms.com or Instagram. You can go check us out there. And uh, man, y'all have a good one and keep shooting. Uh, glad to be at this again, getting all the shows rolling again. You know, it's been a, uh, almost like the last year just disappeared from the face of the earth. So trying to get back in the flow of things. Um, but that also gave us time to work on a few things. And uh, I mean, we're going to start off with the sidekick. You know what I mean? This is going to be the newest thing that Dimeback has been working on, and I think it's going to open new doors to us as well. Um, this is our first revolver that we've, you know, stuck our hands into, and uh, we think it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a 22 and 22 Magnum. It's going to come with both cylinders. All right, it's going to be double action and single action, and we're trying to give that initial old school look. So we took it to a show last week, and we watched everybody's wheels turn in their head. Like, what is this? Like, they're confused. Where's the load gate? How do I eject it? And then after they played with it, we showed them and we repurposed a few things and now made it a nine shot and changing out the cylinder is a lot easier. Just a push button away. Uh, you're gonna get about a, anywhere from two to three pound single action trigger. And then, I mean, I don't wanna scare you with the, the 15 pound plus, but that's the nature of the double action. You know what I mean? So you're gonna have both that. Uh, so whether you just pull it out to shoot a snake on the ground, you know what I mean? Feel free, double action away, but when you're trying to make that round count, you now have a single action to, to fall back on. We made a few changes to the trigger as well, because I'm sure y'all heard about you void the warranty on some of them old uh, 22s dry firing it all the time. So we wanted to make sure that you didn't have to worry about voiding your warranty if you dry fired it a couple times. And then uh, let's get over to our ARs. So our last Riders Conference, we released our Carbon, our Black Gold, and our Diamond, Diamond Series AR. Because back in the day, we only offered you know, one budget priced AR, and we realized that, hey, there is people out there that would like a better AR from us. And that's where the Diamond came into play. And then we had a Black Gold where some people had a you know, middle of the line budget. And then we had the Carbon for the guy that wants to build it themselves and get into an AR for 400 bucks. So we got our nice uh, S-Rail on this one. This is our diamond. 
and it has a patented uh, anti-rotation built into the bottom so it does have an anti-rotation mechanism in the bottom there's a little tiny allen wrench in there that'll loosen that up before you take the other screw out stuff like that so we added more in lock at your 45 degree angles we put the picatinny back on the top and we added a QD spot built into the, the handguard and we're not expecting it to change the price really. So, and it, you're gonna have pro site option and uh, just your in-bus sites. So keep that in mind if you're, you know, there's gonna be two versions of that diamond, actually three. No sites, backup, uh, flip up sites, and then the pro sites. What does this one sell for? Uh, I think Typically that one's right around, uh, your MSRP on it is going to be right around $1,000, but you can typically find it for closer to $800. So the AM2, y'all got to shoot it last time we were at the, in Vegas for the Writers Conference. Not much has changed about this. Uh, we did, um, you might see a little bit shorter reset on the trigger than what we started off with. Um, but we'll have it at the range, to let y'all shoot, get your hands on it. And it also will take 42, 43 Glock style sights. Uh, I know there's a bunch of aftermarket people that are like, I know, Strike Industries, some of them, they have some aftermarket sites for it. Uh, Ameriglow, all those other uh, night site companies will have an abundance of sites for it. And on the AM2, we kind of, when we came out with that in 2018, we kind of incorporated everything that we left off of the DB9 to uh, help just kind of incorporate a gun to uh, please our customer base. So it had the, accept, it accepted the other style sites, it had the trigger safety, it has the slide lock in which we've now incorporated a lot of that into the DB9 but it ships with two mags it ships with a 12 round mag and a 17 so you can if you want to keep it on your person if you maybe jacket carry you know in Florida it's a little bit more difficult but you've got the flush mount or if you want to go to the range and really get some target practice in you can put your additional extended 17 that's, round that's not a huge extension for five rounds no sir We just recently bought a knife company as well, and we weren't really gonna talk about it too much, but I mean, so Zach Brown and uh, our owner, uh, Bobby at Diamondback are really good buds. I mean, he don't even bring him by the shop because he doesn't want Zach Brown to feel like the country singer. He just wants him to feel like a friend. And so they got on here and we wanted, he wanted Bobby to make some knives for him. Then it led to us kind of buying into the company and taking the company on. And then now we're gonna branch off with Diamondback Knife Works and carry his legacy on. So he's not trying to take away from Zach Brown too much, but he wants to carry that legacy on and start a legacy with us and Nyza's Diamondback Knife Works. <laughs>